Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the covert narcissistic mother. Now, this is a topic that's very close to my heart because unfortunately, um, my own mother is a covert narcissist. So this is something that I know very well. And in this video, I would encourage you to uh, leave comments and um, maybe share your experience if you also have a narcissistic mother that is covert in nature. So a covert narcissistic mother is generally more withdrawn. She is more introverted. She prefers to do things on her own or with a closer um, group of friends. Um, but she does very much need the same narcissistic supply that an overt narcissistic mother needs. So a covert narcissistic mother is obviously um, harder to spot because she is very good at disguising her true nature and showing others that she is kind and that she is generous and she is caring. Um, people don't see what she's really like behind closed doors. She does slip up from time to time, but generally it's those closest to her that see the way that she behaves. This type of mother has a lot of issues with her own self-esteem and she is hypersensitive to criticism. She avoids taking responsibility for her actions, believes that other people are responsible for her negative emotions. So it's usually another person's fault that she is suffering. So she blames others a lot and this is something that she does habitually. She is very passive aggressive and plays the victim card quite often and she has very poor boundaries. In many cases she will withhold critical information especially if she knows that this will um, inconvenience her in some way or if this will you know affect the quality of her life in some way. So she withholds information that may be very important to others. She does actually act in a very entitled manner. She can be quite demanding and will expect people to do things her way. So you may notice that a covert narcissistic mother will make plans um, to meet at a certain time or meet at a certain place. She will expect everybody to cater to the way she wants things done. She isn't very considerate of others. And sometimes, although she may say that she will meet you at a specific time, she will sometimes turn up a lot earlier. Sometimes she says one thing but does another. So covert narcissistic mothers do want attention, but they generally express this desire of attention differently to the overt narcissistic mother. Now, in regards to her children, she believes that she is entitled to her children's attention. If her grown-up children, for instance, don't want to see their mother, she will create drama. She will create so much drama to the point where the child will end up feeling guilty and will see her even if they don't want to. She will show that she is hurt. She will express her hurt feelings by playing the victim or by getting her son or daughter to feel sorry for her. And if she sees that you are unhappy about something, so if she sees that you are not willing to do something she wants or aren't willing to cater to her demands, she will tell you that you are inconsiderate, that you are not a very good daughter or son. She will make sure that you know that she is not happy. If you in any way confront her, she is a master at making you feel guilty. And she will make sure that you see that she is way more upset than you are. She uses many sabotaging behaviors she is threatened by her son or daughter's accomplishments, successful relationships, marriages, friendships. 
So she needs to take her daughter or son down a notch. She will find ways to plant a seed of doubt and make you doubt your own abilities, your own capabilities. She does not like it if her um, son or daughter is more accomplished than her. And if she does embrace it, she will make sure that she shows up at um, an event that you may have. She will make sure that she is a part of any accomplishment and she will then show off. So she will want to be part of that. She will want to show that off. And especially when a covert mother has a daughter, she will be very envious of her daughter's accomplishments. She will not like it when her daughter is happy. And she also will find it uncomfortable when that daughter has a partner. She will not like the fact that the new partner is influencing her daughter and that she doesn't have a say in um, her daughter's life and isn't able to control her daughter as well anymore. So she will not be happy about that. She will make sure that her daughter knows that she disapproves. Generally, I would say that most covert narcissistic mothers are very immature and they do have a type of meltdown that you sometimes see in children if things do not go their way. So like I said earlier, they will create a lot of drama. Covert narcissistic mothers also find it a lot of fun to antagonize others or to um, create hostility, for instance, amongst siblings. So she will find ways to use one sibling against the other. So she isn't comfortable with um, her children leading successful, happy lives and having a good relationship with each other, especially if one of those two um, siblings do not want a relationship with the narcissistic mother. The reality is that the covert narcissistic mother isn't happy with herself. She doesn't really like herself very much, but she will uh, portray to others that she is actually very competent. A narcissistic mother can be very vindictive towards others um, and because she is entitled, because she does believe that she deserves special treatment, she will expect that from others. In relationships, she will be quite controlling of her partner and will not tolerate certain behaviours. She will want her partner to cater to her needs um, mostly her needs. I would like to say through my own experience that my mother has been quite envious in the past or has tried to sabotage a lot of positive happy moments in my life and has tried to make me doubt myself, has tried to um, derail certain situations like you know relationships or um, studying if I wanted to study something um, and further my education so I could improve myself, she would find things to say to dissuade me from this. She would say a lot of things that weren't very supportive. And another thing you will notice is that having a mother like this, you probably never felt comforted by your mother because in a way she is an empty shell of a person. Like she obviously loves her children in her own way, but she isn't capable of unconditional love. She isn't capable of, of properly nurturing her children. She finds it difficult to connect and I have to be honest, I, I never felt comforted by my mum's hugs and I never understood why as a child. I never understood why I felt this, this emptiness. Um, and I actually found this feeling of comfort in, in other people um, more than I did in my own mother, which is actually quite a sad thing. But unfortunately, this is part of it. Another thing I noticed is that covert mums like interrupting you. So you may be midstream in the middle of a sentence and she'll interrupt you if she's lost interest or if she doesn't want to continue the conversation or she doesn't want to listen to what you have to say. She will interrupt you or change the subject very quickly. And also, um, in my experience, my mum has very selective amnesia when it comes to certain things that happened in the past. So she never remembers things the way I do. She always um, 
you know, says that I remember things wrong. And of course, there was a hell of a lot of gaslighting. Um, so covert mothers are very, very good at gaslighting and changing the narrative and changing the story and, and saying that things didn't happen that way. And then you end up feeling very crazy and, and you're not sure what to think and you're, you're left in this constant state of confusion and cognitive dissonance in um, many different things that have happened in your life, right? And also, lastly, I'd like to say that covert narcissistic mothers crave so much attention from their children that the children become either parentified, so the child almost steps into the role of the mother and actually ends up looking after the mother and the mother's needs and her emotional needs um, instead of the way it should be, the mother looking after the children's. Um, because she's also very immature and she maybe didn't get her needs met in her childhood, the child actually becomes the caregiver in many ways, or the friend, or the psychologist. So there's a lot of enmeshment um, in a relationship with a covert narcissistic mother and her child. So enmeshment, parentification, and in some cases infantilization as well. It sort of depends. She tries to keep the child weak, she doesn't encourage the child to grow, to study, she doesn't want the child to leave home, she clings on to the child and wants it to be uh, dependent on her, wants to keep the child close to home so she can control the child. So yeah, that is a covert narcissistic mother in a nutshell and like I said, a lot of what I've said is also from my own personal experience but I would really love to hear your experience so please feel free to share in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please feel free to share this video um, to see if maybe there's anyone that may find it useful or helpful in any way. Thank you so much for watching and for listening and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye bye.